Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists. Today we take a look at just what did Vegeta mean by I think I know who he is, which is how chapter 72 of the manga ended. During the fight between Goku and Granola, Vegeta started to put the pieces together on who this mysterious strongest fighter in the universe actually is. A tribe driven to extinction, known for their evolved right eyes, this is starting to sound familiar. Of course, this is only familiar to Vegeta because of old stories he heard as a child told by his father. These stories of conquering worlds and learning what it means to be a proud warrior elite of the Saiyans. When the Saiyans first attacked Planet Serial 50 years ago, wiping out this troublesome race known for their sniping abilities, leaving only one survivor in Granola, well, our Prince Vegeta wasn't born yet. This is wreckage created by his father in an alliance with Lord Frieza. So when Vegeta finally stares at the ruins now, he finally remembers stories told to him as a child. Stories of a race known for having the sharpest eyes in the universe who were ordered to extinction by Frieza himself. Which obviously this puts Vegeta in an interesting position where we know that he feels regret for the crimes of the Saiyan's race. Where he bears a burden of the past just like Granola, and it actually has prevented Vegeta from becoming the best version of himself. In the encounter with Lord Beerus, Vegeta learned the hard way that he has to let go of his past. As long as doubt weighs down your soul, this power will never be yours to wield. Your own crimes aside, you're feeling guilty for the sins of all Saiyans. Vegeta was told that as long as you're trapped by the past, you'll never manage to grow past this point. Well, one way of putting the past behind you is to face Granola and tell him that he is sorry for what the Saiyans did to him and his people. I know sorry doesn't tend to be in Vegeta's vocabulary, but he wants to bury his past for good and become the powerful destroyer that Beerus told him he can be. That the power to surpass anyone is there waiting for him if Vegeta can just finally let go. Sometimes sorry isn't enough though, and this is one of those situations, so Vegeta might ask Granola what type of debt do you want paid for the crimes the Saiyans committed, which means Granola would say he wants to destroy Frieza with his own hands, a request that Vegeta can help Granola with, then telling Granola it was Goku who defeated Frieza the first time and we have killed him before. While Goku might not want to go along with this request, he might not have a choice. We don't know if he can hold off Granola before Vegeta decides to intervene. So while they could come to some sort of an agreement to help Granola find Frieza at the end of the upcoming chapter, we can't forget that Elec and Gas are on planet Serial in search of the Dragon Balls. So if Granola manages to let Vegeta talk to him to make a temporary partnership, it could all be short-lived if another wish is made by the Dragon Balls. For myself, Vegeta is one of the most interesting characters in the story because of his character development, his past, and where he was to where he is now. With the foreshadowing we have seen, it seems that Vegeta might have an opportunity to finally put to rest his inner conflict of the crimes of the Saiyan race. Now let me know, will Vegeta intervene in the fight with Goku and Granola? Will he ask for forgiveness of the crimes of the Saiyan race? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and smash that like button. Also, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to keep those theories coming.